And what we have today is something that, well, shouldn't be a surprise for most people. But gutter oil and spit oil is still a thing. Yeah, can you pause it? I have to set this up. Okay, you want to set it up? Yeah, so on the Chinese internet recently, this clip has been going around. Now, what's, what's beyond the Great Firewall, but guys, by the way, guys, is like China doesn't want you to see what's going on the Chinese internet, just like they block their own citizens from the rest of the internet, right? Yeah. 70% of the internet is blocked in China. Mm -hmm. but they have their own ecosystem. Correct. And because we speak Chinese, we can show you stuff, translate mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. show you what's hot. Yep. Show you what's going around. And uh, this particular clip of a guy scooping gutter oil, uh, which is used cooking yeah. oil to reuse in restaurants, is going around. And uh, these ladies uh, saw him doing it out the window, mm. did some commentary, and then followed him yeah. to see where he was now going. This, this in particular is spit oil, is yeah, what I like to call oil, it. Yeah. And this is when you get a hot pot. Well, before we show it, I'll just quickly explain it. If you go to a hot pot restaurant... You get your pot and it's got a broth in it. And you have half of it is normally mild. The other half is chili. Yeah. And they use a kind of a chili oil. Yeah. Okay. So basically that side's going to be nice and chili. It's got the chili oil floating on top. Yes. Okay. Mixes in there. So when they throw all the used stuff away, so like you've been sitting there slobbering in your hot pot, you know, because that's how it works. You're Hawking like, loogies you know, in there. You know, you, you basically use your chopsticks, put it back, all that. They take the used one. And then they just throw it in the trash. Yes. Okay. Along with all the bits of vegetables and crap that wasn't eaten. Okay. And it ends up in this big slop bucket type thing. Okay. In a bin, a wheelie bin outside. And it's really gross. Well, you get a lot of enterprising people are like, I don't want to buy that chili oil for my it's restaurant. It's expensive. It's expensive. So I'll just go because oil floats to, to the top. Yeah. I'll just go take it out of the trash. Yeah. And then reuse it. Get some of that gutter butter. They don't even, the spit oil, they don't even process it. They just use it again. Because like with gutter oil, the stuff they dig out of the, the actual literal gutters and sewers, they have to process it to like make it into oil again, basically. But it's still garbage. This, they just take that from whatever other person's spit mouth and put it in your pot for you. Just so you know. So get us out of here so we yeah. can get read. There's a guy scooping oil. Isn't he skimming oil? Yeah. Is he fishing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still looking around in there. He only looks at the top. I don't think it's good what he's doing. Yep. There's the oil. F me. Yeah. When people walk by, he pretends to push the garbage down. He doesn't care. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. Hold on. I want to see what restaurant he goes to. Oh, he's got a van. This garbage collection just arrived. It's literal garbage. Yeah, I want to throw up. <laughs> He's waiting there? Oh, the van's low. I'm getting close to the van. Is he going to pull me inside? <laughs> Stay away from him. Yeah, so, so. Uh, yeah, so they, they, this is in a, a very developed area, a developed yeah. city. They it had like garbage collection. It never goes away. You know, gutter oil has been a problem in China for decades. Yes. Okay? Very famously. I've made, I made a video about it not uh -huh. that long ago. And he, here's the thing. I make my video and everyone's like, oh, that's an old problem. That's been taken no. care of. But nope. I'm, I'm showing clips that happened that week. Yeah. And you've just shown another one, which is also from this past week. Yeah. That's famous in China right now. It's not going away. And you know why? Because there's money to be made. Yeah. And it's easy money. You literally go and take oil out of the sewer, take oil out of the trash, yeah. and you can sell it or you can not buy new ones, right? Yeah. So this is not something that's going away anytime soon. It no. will see. This is the exact same spit oil yeah, thing spit here. Oil. So you can see what they're doing. It, yeah. yeah, they take a bowl and they shove it in there, so the oil kind of goes in there, and then they siphon the oil off the top, and then take it back into the restaurant to use it again. Um, Getting a little more harvest there. Yeah, it's really gross. Specifically since they do it without any shame. Like sometimes you actually see them walking into a restaurant. Yeah. With, like, uh, with the uniform. Yeah, they're wearing the uniform. They, they take it, they go back into the restaurant, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, gutter oil, spit oil is a big issue in China that still persists uh, to this day. And oh, well, yeah. Until the end of time. I mean, because here's the deal. they The government says, no, it doesn't exist anymore because we prosecute it with the death penalty. Mm -hmm. That's like, oh, I'm sure you do. Is that why there's hundreds, if not thousands of videos going around all the time of yeah. it happening now? Yeah. In 2024? Yeah, they don't do anything What are you about talking it? about? Shut up. I don't think I've ever seen people prosecuted for making they gutter made, oil. They made that PSA about how it's a public safety concern, so you'll be executed. Well, mm. where's the executions then? Where's yeah. the death van showing up for gutter oil people? <laughs> exactly. China's a dysfunctional-ass country. Yeah, especially the, the government. They say one thing and do another. Yeah. 
Here's another thing from Beyond, Beyond the Great Firewall, which is quite tragic, actually. And uh, the story goes here that this family took their daughter in for um, treatment, some kind of heart issue. Yeah. And the doctors prescribed 10 times the allowed medicine. and uh, she took, Heart medicine, yeah. Yeah, and she took it and died because yeah. it was 10 times what she should have taken. Sure. So when they went to go and protest at the hospital, they were just basically um, manhandled away and taken away. And this is—I wouldn't even say protest. I mean, they're kind of like, like we're just sad, and they're like, yeah, they're like, why did why me. did this happen? Justice for my kid. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the translation here? This is Hunan Provincial People's Hospital Heart Center, Fuwai Huajong Cardiovascular Hospital. Ch- uh, as a child with heart disease, came for treatment, and the irresponsible doctor prescribed the medicine ten times the dosage of what was yeah, supposed to be the daughter, prescribed, yeah. and killed the daughter. Yeah. Yeah. It's you sad. Know, I mean, it's devastating. There is a huge amount of disinformation when it comes to China's healthcare and medical system. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people um, incorrectly think it's good. It's mm. not good. You get a lot of... Oh, it's horrific. Yeah, you get a lot of people saying, like, China's healthcare is great and it's free. First of all, it's not free. No. It's not... People are a bit confused because it's supposed to be a communist country. It's supposed to be free. You have to pay. Yes, and it's expensive yeah. for anything serious. Yeah. An actual doctor's visit's kind of cheap, but you still have to pay. And here's the thing. You have to pay before you can see the doctor. Yes. So even when you're sick. Or emergencies. Yeah. In a terrible state, you have to line up or you have to get your family member or something, line up and pay first. I went to take a family member to the hospital. Yeah. Because they're having an allergic reaction to shrimp. Right. 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 In the foyer Mm -hmm. of the ER, there was a guy, and I won't spare the details, literally bleeding out. Mm Mm-hmm. The person that brought him to the hospital had to wait in line to pay money before yeah. he was ad- admitted. It's crazy. People without money are kicked to the outside of the hospital. Yeah. Right? So you can say whatever you want about the American healthcare system or whatever, but you literally have to pay before you go in. Yeah. Or you can't go in. Yeah. Right? The, out of the 30 plus countries I've been to, China has the absolute positive worst healthcare system I've ever seen. I... My life was saved in the middle of the random area of Laos, and I was laying in a bamboo bed under the piping sun mm-hmm. where there was no facilities, and the yeah. doctor could speak English in the middle of nowhere, mm-hmm. used proper medication, and got me to be cured of typhoid. Yeah. Right? All of these things, anytime there was a medical problem in China, the doctor had no idea what they were doing. Yeah, and they give you antibiotics yes. every time. Like when I broke my knee. Yeah. And they were smoking. Yeah, it's like, oh, you broke your knee. Here's some antibiotics. The bone, when I hurt my foot, the bone doctor smoking in my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. You know, I used to train doctors in China. Um, yes. That was my job. I worked for a medical, um, uh, what do you call it, like um, education company. And mm-hmm. what they do is deal with uh, doctors going overseas. So I teach them English and I teach them um etiquette of hospitals and the rules and do's and don'ts and things like that. And I was very shocked at the the sort of, I was just shocked with what I saw. Let's put it that way. But never mind the fact that it's not free. I think the entire Chinese medical system hinges on the fact that the human body is pretty good at curing itself. Yes. Honestly, yes. it is. That's, a, that's like, a really good quote. They, they really do. They, yeah. they basically say, here, drink some hot water, take your pulse, here you go, have some, you know, they'll give you some herbs maybe or they'll give you some aspirin or they'll give you some yeah. antibiotics like go home and you'll be okay. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's really kind of a tough situation. Of course, there are good doctors in China. There is such a thing as decent uh, Yeah, I mean, there's know, foreign stuff. hospitals yeah. too in big cities. But I, I got to say in general, it's very Poor. irresponsible. Yeah, yes. And also you're expected to pay a bribe if you're going to have surgery. Or deliver your child. Yeah, you have to pay bribes. And I know it's like people say, oh, that's not true. It is true, okay? <laughs> Somebody we know, very close to mm-hmm. us, Yeah. They the doctor intentionally hurt their baby because they did not pay a bribe. Yeah. It happens. It's not. It's because the doctors are so underpaid that it be, cr- breeds this horrific system. Even doctors pay bribes to other doctors yes. who are their colleagues. Yes. And I know this because my wife is a doctor and I used to train doctors. I've seen it firsthand. It's yes. not a good system. Yeah. So you've got a pretty poor system that results in things like this. Mm-hmm. And then when something bad does happen... What happens to you? You get manhandled out of there by security and you're ignored. And, you know, that's just how China is. And everybody thinks it's some kind of utopia. It's because they haven't run into a problem yet. Yeah. You know, it was Mike Tyson has that great saying, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. 
you know, and that's true. That's China for you. You think everything's totally okay until you actually hit a roadblock. Yeah. And then you realize you don't have rights and you don't have these opportunities that you have, like a good legal system in the West. You're screwed, basically. And no one's going to help you. And you cannot stand up against the government. You can't protest. You can't do anything. You know, you end up with a situation like this uh, where you're helpless. And then you have this guy kicking you out and giving you a stink eye on the way out. You know what I mean? Anyway, just yeah, had to screw say. you, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway. How dare you? Yeah, not very good. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let's blow it at the same time. <laughs> They took prayer out of school, they let pornography rule, saying racism's cool and Christ is a fool. <laughs> That's what they say in school. <laughs> and then the fat lady sang. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh at that, but that is so awkward. It's very awkward.